Russia threatens South Korea amid arrival of DPRK military? Russian media. This post received a score of 16,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. From the article, Russia's foreign ministry has threatened South Korea with security consequences if it helps Ukraine in its war against Russia. Source. Russian news agency, Interfax citing a statement by Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zaharova at a briefing on Wednesday. Quote, We believe that the South Korean authorities should not be playing along with the Kyiv regime. Threatening security consequences after months of supplying North Korea with new weapons technology is a bit like closing the stable door after the horse has bolted. Bit late to start puffing now, best Korea who previously wasn't getting too involved is now looking at everything they can do to speed up Russia's defeat in Ukraine. Were those risty old 155mm shells and battalion of half-starved soldiers that will run away the first chance they get worth it, Vlad? Russia's threats seem more desperate as their situation worsens. It's an empty warning. The thing I don't get, and maybe someone could explain like I'm five, is what purpose 10KNK soldiers could possibly serve in Ukraine. Is Russian unable to draft another 10k soldiers? The population of Russia is 140 m plus, and I get that they are old people and women and kids and whatnot, but still has to be millions of people to feed into the reaping machine. Why put themselves into greater debt than they already are with NK? Edit, I've gotten some great answers, all of which I think are true to some extent or another. I'll add that there is another story breaking now that NK did it in exchange for cash and N. Greater than is Russian unable to draft another 10k soldiers? It may have been that the DPRK soldiers were supposedly already trained and ready to fight, whereas the Russian conscripts would be of Russian conscript quality and readiness. But all I've ever seen is that the DPRK soldiers are in reality no better than what we've been seeing from Russia. Who's to say there is only going to be 10k 12k DPRK soldiers? Aye, they have the largest standing army on earth. I think it's 2 mil soldiers. The issue is though they're not battle trained. Same with China, it's a big problem. The US and to a lesser extent NATO and the MIC are not just churning out weapon systems, they're constantly at war, so are constantly ready for war. Like we have war games etc. And they have massive value, data-wise. But there's no better training than actual war, and the US has been sending soldiers into conflicts since 9-11 at least, and hasn't gone more than a few years without a war of some sort. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.